Overlooking old wounds by reinforcing ancient ties. China, Japan and South Korea presented a united front during the trilateral summit in China's southern city of Chengdu. I want to build a new era of three kingdoms in which we cooperate and develop together with the international community. Setting aside deep grievances dating back to World War II, the leaders of Asia's largest economies pledged to work closer together on trade. They want to agree on a 16-nation Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCEP, by the end of next year, and continue negotiations on a three-nation free trade agreement. Trade between South Korea, Japan and China exceeded $720 billion in 2018. We need to protect the free trade in order to help business activities and continue to grow together. North Korea carrying out a missile test over the Christmas period overshadowed some of the pageantry. Chinese Prime Minister Li Keqiang, South Korean President Moon Jae-in and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe agreed to continue supporting negotiations between Washington and Pyongyang. Pyongyang's demand for the U.S. to lift economic sanctions has led to a halt in their nuclear talks, and an end-of-year deadline to progress the negotiations is fast approaching. China is North Korea's most important ally and sees itself as playing a central role in working towards denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. Beijing has urged the United Nations to lift sanctions on Pyongyang to help break the deadlock, but it's unclear whether Seoul or Tokyo, both U.S. allies, would support that move. On Monday, Moon Jae-in and Shinzo Abe met separately with Chinese President Xi Jinping in Beijing. For China, the summit is an opportunity to expand its regional influence, but the three countries are currently embroiled in territorial disputes in the South China Sea. South Korea and Japan are allies with the U.S. So if China can develop and improve the relations with these two countries, it will decrease U.S. influence in this region and weaken China's pressure from the U.S. The leaders have signed a 10-year cooperation plan, which includes tackling shared challenges such as climate change and aging populations. But the biggest challenge, perhaps, is whether they can view each other with trust rather than as threats. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.